That would mean going to trial and proving that C8 killed your cows. And every scientist who knows anything about any of this already works for these chemical companies. That's not an accident, Earl. Earl, these, these companies, they have all the money all the time and they'll use it, trust me. I know, I was one of them. You're still one of them. You, you can't be serious. The subject of dark waters sounds familiar, and it should. This is a whistleblower film about a lone man who takes on the system. We've seen these films before, but this one has some differences, and those differences make the film quite good and quite appealing. The first difference is that the whistleblower, who's played by Mark Ruffalo, who is himself a committed activist, this whistleblower is the last person you'd expect to be a whistleblower. He's a corporate lawyer who actually defends polluters. Being a whistleblower is not the kind of thing that's on his radar. But he gets a visit from a farmer, grew up in the same part of the world that his family's from in West Virginia, complaining about the water, complaining that his cattle are dying. And something about his story compels him, and the rest is history. This is based on a true story. And the second thing that makes this film interesting is that it's directed by Todd Haynes. He's a very unusual director, no two films alike. He makes this otherwise familiar story into something edgy, something provocative, something that deals in a really involving way with the cost of being a whistleblower, with how hard it is on you, on your family, what a nightmare situation it can be to do the right thing. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan. We protect us, we do.